Welcome to this demonstration on Team Center Change Management. As the methodologies of change vary in each organization, we need to set a baseline for our demonstration. This demonstration is based on a fictitious company called the Classic Car Company. The workflows used are designed for the company to automate their change processes. A decision has been made to replace the bumper on the front of the car. It will be introduced when the new model is released. In this presentation, people involved in the change are the analyst design engineer. She will raise the PR and do most of the work elaborating the change. The change specialist is in charge of the change process and raises the change request and the change notice. The change review board will determine if a CR should be raised and review the change notice to see if the change will proceed. Let's now review the whole change process for the classic car company. The designer creates a PR for the bumper change, adds the problem bumper part to the PR, assigns herself as a change analyst, and selects the change specialist. Then, initiates the problem report workflow. The change specialist creates the change request, which inherits the information from the problem report. He then assigns a designer to elaborate the change request, and the appropriate change review board to review the request. Then he initiates the change request workflow. The designer then adds additional information to the change request, such as other impacted parts and assemblies, and a scheduled plan. The change management board reviews the request and determines if the change should proceed. If it does, the change notice will be produced. The change specialist is tasked to produce the change notice, assign people to create the implementation plan and assign the final review board. The designer now checks the impacted parts and creates a detailed plan for the update. Next, the change review board now reviews and then approves the solution. After approval, the designer creates the required parts, updates and revises the assemblies. Finally, the change specialist now checks the plans and processes and approves that the change is in place. The designer logs onto the system. Before working, check your current group and role to confirm the permissions for creating, editing and viewing the data. The existing and proposed parts are reviewed. A right click on the impacted part allows a problem report to be generated for that part. The designer initiates the problem report workflow. The participants involved are now assigned to the workflow. The task for preparing the problem report is now complete. Next we will review the change specialist creating the change request. The task to create the change request appears in the change specialist's work list. The change request is derived from the problem report. Information such as impacted parts are copied or propagated into the change request. The 
problem report shows that it has been implemented by the new change request. The participants involved in the change request are now assigned. The change request is now ready to be actioned by the change request workflow process. The Create Engineering Change Request task is now complete and signed off. The Change Request workflow sends a task to the designer to elaborate the change request. As the change request has been derived from the problem report, the original pumper appears in the Problem Items folder. This change will impact the chassis assembly containing the bumper, so it is added to the impacted items folder. A document explaining the reasons for the change is added to the reference items folder. This document is currently external to Team Center and it is imported into the system. A new project or schedule plan is added to the plan items folder. The elaborate task is now complete and signed off. A member of the Change Management Board is now required to approve the change request. After reviewing the information, he approves the change request. The task to create the change notice appears in the change specialist's work list. The change notice is derived from the change request. Information from the change request is propagated into the change notice. The change request is shown as implementing the problem report and being implemented by the change notice. The change specialist now assigns participants to implement the change notice. The change notice workflow is now started. The Create Change Notice task is now completed and signed off. The designer now receives a task to create an implementation plan to cover the change notice. The new change notice plan schedule is created by copying the schedule created for the change request process. The implementation plan task has now been completed and is signed off. The next task is for management to review and approve the change implementation plan. The manager reviews the schedule.
the manager approves the implementation plan. The designer will now execute the change. In this exercise, the impact assembly is revised to contain the replaced bumper. The revised assembly is placed in the solution items folder. The current bumper is replaced in the updated assembly with the new bumper arrangement. Revision B of the bumper is added to the solutions folder in the change notice. The change has been executed and the task completed. It is now the task of the change specialist to input the effectivity date and verify that the change will take place on that date. The effectivity date is input through the change manager application. The Create Effectivity task has now been completed. The Where Used report locates the top level assembly of the whole car and it is sent to the structure manager for review. The revision rule is set for approved parts configured by today's date. The viewer shows the car with the revision A of the bumper, which is the configuration before the change takes place. Now the effective date is changed to a date after the change should take place. Note that the bumper has now changed to revision B. This change process is now complete. This was an example of a change process developed for the CCC car company. Team Center allows the system customization to reflect your current or future change processes.